Hello beautiful people, welcome to Yoga with Sasha. Today we're going to be doing a gentle, relaxing yin yoga sequence to help us cultivate a sense of gratitude. Now gratitude is so important because even if we have everything we could possibly dream of, if we don't appreciate it, it really means nothing. Whereas if we take the time to take stock of the things that we have that are going well within our bodies, our minds and our lives, then we can feel so abundant and so much more joyful. So we can begin just by taking a moment to sit comfortably. We can try and have our feet somewhere underneath our knees, sitting in Sukhasana, easy pose. But whatever variation of this works for you is absolutely fine. You can also sit upon a block if it's not so comfortable for you to stay cross-legged for a little bit. So we can begin just by bringing our hands to our heart centers. Taking a moment to close your eyes. Bringing your awareness to the center of your chest, your heart center. Becoming fully aware of your body. right from the tip of your toes all the way up to the top of your head and taking a moment just to be expressing gratitude for your amazing unique body with the next inhalation you can open your eyes reaching the arms up towards the sky and as you exhale bringing the right hand forward left hand back we're going to come to a simple twist Taking in a deep breath in, letting out a deep breath in, and then the next inhalation, bringing the arms all the way up overhead, reaching up towards the sky, and then exhaling over to the other side. Deep breath in, deep breath out, all the way up towards the sky. You can bring the hands together, drawing them down towards the heart center and then bowing forwards, coming into a little forward fold with the legs crossed. So you can place your hands wherever is comfortable for you, but I'm gonna really invite you here just to keep your spine as long as possible. So if that means that you can't go so low down, then it's absolutely fine. Just as you inhale, lengthening through the spine, drawing the hips back down towards your mat, and then exhaling, maybe, just maybe you're able to work yourself a little bit further forwards. So especially because today's practice is about gratitude, this is not about forcing anything. It's really just about listening into your body and doing what feels good to you and expresses gratitude for your own unique, amazing body. Staying with this for a little bit longer. Allowing your breath to be deep. your mind wanders just bringing it back to the here and now to the physical sensations you can feel in this pose taking one more inhalation and exhalation here to complete your pose and then with the next inhalation slowly walking yourself back upright bringing the fingers back towards the body from here, you can change the cross of the legs, bringing the opposite leg in front. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So we can inhale, lifting the arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhaling, this time we're gonna to twist to the right, first of all. Turning to look over that back shoulder. Allowing your inhalation and exhalation to be completely full. the next inhalation arms come up the next exhalation we come over to the left side allowing your breath to come all the way down into your belly inhaling all the way up hands come to touch down to the center line of the body bowing forwards and again finding your forward fold on the other side
So really allowing your mind to just be completely occupied with the feeling of being in this pose. Noticing the sensations through your legs, through your lower back. And whatever occurs for you is absolutely fine. Just breathe deep and make any adjustments that make the pose more comfortable for you. While every inhalation bringing more length to the spine and every exhalation dropping deeper into the pose. If you'd like a focal point for your mind, then you can mentally recite the mantra Om Shanti Om. It's a mantra for peace. Walking your hands back towards your body, coming back up to sit upright. From here we can bring our legs out in front of us, seated position. And we can do a little bit of a challenge for our cores. So we can start just by walking the feet actually really close in towards the hips and then hugging the legs, bringing the eyes down on top of the knees if that's possible for you. This position is called Cosmic Egg. Taking a moment to really hug yourself, to express gratitude for all that you are. For all the things that you do for all of your best intentions. And then inhaling, slowly lifting the head, coming to an upright spine, and we can play with a couple of variations of boat pose. So we can either just stay with our feet a little bit further away from our hips, reaching back as far as feels comfortable for us, and we can even keep our fingertips lightly resting on the floor. So this is the, the first option that we can play with. If we feel like we're ready for something a bit more intense, then we can try lifting up our legs, keeping them bent. That's the next option. If you want to take it one step further, you can bring your arms out towards the sides. And if you really want to challenge yourself today, then you can straighten the legs coming into full boat pose. Navasana. So holding here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Coming to bring the feet down, hugging yourself in in cosmic egg. Again, if your mind is wondering, you can bring it back to the mantra Om Shanti Om. Next inhalation, we can come back into that boat pose if we like. If it's too much, you're welcome to come into any other pose, but otherwise you can walk the feet away from the body, hands to the side, leaning back slightly. Option two, option three, or all the way up to option four, coming up to boat pose. And stay here for five, lifting your heart, lifting the center of your chest, reaching with the legs, you can even engage the pelvic floor muscles, really amplifying the work to your core. Three, two, and one. Coming back down, giving yourself a hug. Om Shanti Om. Keeping your mind focused in the present. From here, you can cross your legs again, leaning forwards to come up onto all fours. So from here, we can spend a moment just doing a little cat-cow, inhaling, arching the spine, reaching up, exhaling, folding over. Inhaling, belly button dips down towards the mat. Exhaling, belly button comes up towards the sky. Taking one more of these. And then allowing the spine to come into a neutral position, we're gonna make our way into puppy. So here all we wanna do is walk the hands forwards, sitting up on the knees, 
melting the heart down towards the mat. You can rest your forehead upon the mat if that's comfortable for you. You can stay up a little bit higher on the forearms if that's what you need to do today. Drawing the hips back wherever you are. Allowing your belly to fill up with air like a balloon. Melting your heart a little bit lower down towards the mat. Then on your next inhalation, slowly coming back up onto the forearms, walking the hands in towards the body. We can spread the knees nice and wide here and then draw the hips back down towards the heels, making our way to our child's pose, Balasana. So you can rest the forehead on the mat or you can rest the forehead even on the hands. This is such a lovely restorative posture. But it also can be quite deep in the hips. So breathe deep, allowing your hips to open as much as you feel comfortable with. We can inhale, bringing our hands forwards, making our way back up to hands and knees, bringing the knees back into the mat, hands forward, and we can flip up into our first downward facing dog. If you like, you can cycle the feet here. And then bringing the right leg up into the air Trying to keep the hips square for now, making the spine as long as possible, dropping that back heel down towards the ground, and then bringing the knee in towards the chest. We can bring our right foot towards the front of the mat and come to a low lunge. From here, we're gonna work on peeling the shoulders away from the knees, away from the ground, lifting the heart, breathing deep. And as you exhale, bringing your hips back towards your heels, straightening the front leg, and coming into a half split. So inhaling, bringing the knee over the ankle and coming into your lunge. And exhaling, bringing the heels back, coming into half split. We're gonna do that one more time, bending the knee, coming to a low lunge. And this time as we exhale, we're gonna stay in half split for a little bit longer. So here we can work on firstly, keeping the spine beautiful and long. And then if that's feeling good, we can slowly drop our body down towards our leg. So dropping your body down towards your leg, your belly onto your thigh, maybe your nose onto your knee. Trying to square up the hips, so drawing the right hip back and the left hip forwards. This is quite a strong pose, really, really working the hamstrings here. So if you need to come out of it a little bit sooner, that's absolutely fine. Otherwise, breathing in deep. Breathing out deep. Focusing the mind with the mantra Om Shanti Om. Here we can gradually bring our weight back onto the front foot, coming back to our low lunge, rooting our hands down, bringing the right leg back into downward facing dog. Drawing the hips up towards the sky as much as possible, maybe even coming onto tippy toes. And then with all of that length in your spine, then dropping the heels back down towards the mat. From here we can lift the leg, left leg up, coming into our three-legged dog, keeping the hips nice and square, and then drawing the knee in towards the chest. We come back into our low lunge on the other side. So again, once we've opened our heart here, drawing the shoulders back, lifting the heart towards the sky. As we exhale, we can bring the front leg into a more straight position, gradually bringing the body down towards the front leg. 
Inhaling, we come into our lunge. Exhaling, half split. Inhaling to come to lunge. Exhaling, over onto half split. We do that one more time, inhaling to lunge. Exhaling to half split. And this time we're gonna hold it for a little bit longer. So firstly, finding as much length in your spine as you can, drawing the right hip forwards, the left hip back, and then gradually, slowly but surely, bringing your weight down towards your leg. So bringing your torso down towards your leg. Sending your breath all the way down to all of those muscles that you can feel working. Gradually releasing your body over your leg. If you need to keep a little bend in the knee here, that's absolutely fine. If you want to center your mind, coming back to the physical sensations in your body. Coming out of the pose earlier if you need to. And using the mantra Om Shanti Om. The next inhalation, bringing your weight back forwards into that low lunge, rooting your hands down into the mat and kicking that front leg back into your downward facing dog. Here we can bring our knees down onto the mat, coming back down into your child's pose. So you may want to wrap your arms around your back Leave them forwards or place your palms on top of each other, resting your forehead upon your palms. We're going to come back up onto our hands and knees one final time. And this time, threading your right arm underneath the left come down into a twisted puppy. Keeping your mind centered. If you like using that mantra, Om Shanti Om. Drawing the left arm in towards the body. Slowly pressing your way back up onto all fours. You can switch sides, threading the left arm under. Sending your breath all the way into the back of your body. Gradually bringing your right arm back in, your left arm. And from here, we can make our way over onto our backs, coming into our Shavasana. So here you can either lie with your feet mat width apart, dropping the knees together. 
this is a beautiful way to support the lower back, especially if you have any lower back issues. Otherwise, lying with the feet all the way down, bringing the palms to face up. Taking three deep breaths in and out here. And after your third breath, bringing your attention back towards the center of your chest, your heart center. Just staying here, allowing your body to relax more and more deeply with every pose, with every breath, sorry. <laughs> and with every breath, thinking of one more thing that you can feel grateful for, big or small in your life. Could be the roof over your head or your friends, the food in your cupboards, the time that you have. Big things or little things, just with every breath recalling something new that you can feel truly grateful for in your life. If your mind wanders, just bringing it back to this practice of gratitude. Looking to acknowledge all of the gifts that you have around you, even the ones that you sometimes forget. Taking two more breaths in this practice. So you can stay here for as long as you like, but if you're ready to come out of the pose, then gradually bringing a little bit of movement back into the body. Moving the fingers, the toes, the ankles, the wrists. Gradually exaggerating all of the movements, coming to stretch in any way that feels good for you. You can slowly make your way over onto one side if you're ready to come up. Taking a couple more breaths. And this time finding something about yourself that you're grateful for. Taking just a moment to honor you. From here we can gradually make our way back up to sitting, cross-legged. Bringing your hands to your heart center. And if you like, you can join me for one last OM to finish the class. Breathing in deeply. OM. I thank you so much for joining me today for this practice. Namaste.